Hi, my fellow WW Health and Fitness Warriors. My name is Sarah Beverly, and today I'm going to tell you an overview of my progress and where I'm at so far in my journey. And I'm also going to tell you um, some of the hardships that I came across um, in my journey and things that may have helped me along the way in my journey and also maybe things that I learned about myself. So let's get started, shall we? Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit of an overview first on where I'm at so far. Um, you know, like a lot of people that probably have before. Um, I watched all of those weight loss shows that showed people, you know, doing this or that to lose weight or working out and a year, they show them a year later and all of a sudden magically they lost a hundred or more pounds and they look fabulous. And, you know, I always hoped that that could be me one day, but I never really thought that it would be me. Um, cause I was thinking, wow, a year is a long way to, you know, keep going and, you know, to stay on your journey to, so you can look that fabulous. But you know what? I did it. I did stay on it longer than a year. I'm currently still on it. Um, and I can't believe that I can say I've lost more than a hundred pounds right now. So, I mean, that's just means the world's to me. So currently right now. Um, I've lost almost 116 pounds. It took me, in one year, I lost 87. And it took me 15 months to lose 100. I wanted to lose 100 pounds in one year, which is a little bit daunting, I admit. But I thought I could do it. But since I have hypothyroidism, um, it kind of hindered my progress just a little bit. Um, it made my journey just a little bit harder. But I, you know, I knew that coming into it. But I didn't let that dissuade me from, you know, to keep on my journey or to stop me from doing something along my journey that would help me. Um, I just knew it was going to be a little bit harder, which it was. But that was fine because it made me a stronger person in the end. Um, so, and after 15 months, um, in at 21, 20 months, I'm sorry, I reached my goal of 170, which was, um, uh, proved by my, um, endocrinologist. I wanted to aim my goal weight a little bit higher just so I had that little bit of cushion underneath to where if I wanted to keep going, I could. Um, but I will eventually, when, once I get through my maintenance period, I will keep going and I will lose more than 170. But right now I am at about 171. I have a cushion of 168 to 172 that I have to maintain that four pound range for six um, weeks and I'm on week three right now. So. Uh, you know, I knew it was going to be hard maintaining this weight for six weeks, but I didn't know or realize was how incredibly frustrating it is to stay at a certain weight range in order for me to get lifetime. But I am committed to this journey, so I am going to do it. I will reach lifetime, and it, when I do reach lifetime, it'll be on December 7th. So you know what? December can't come quick enough, I'll tell you. Um, a little bit of the things that I have learned that might hinder progress is weight weighs you down in more than one way. Obviously, you know, health wise, appearance wise, um, you know what I mean? It weighs you down that way. And then it, which leads to, you know, your self-confidence, it weigh your weight weighs you down mentally, you know, you think bad about yourself, you um, beat yourself up over it, you know, which I've done plenty of times before, um, you know, it, but it doesn't help you, you know, your self-confidence when you do that, you know, even though I did, I was my own worst enemy and now I think about it and I go, you're so much harder on yourself than you probably should have been. Um, 
and some for some people even though this was not me some people have um weight weighs you down like spousally um whether it would be because you feel embarrassed being out with your spouse somewhere in public or maybe your spouse or something feels embarrassed being around you in public or whatever some people have that problem i didn't have that problem um and i really wish and hope that everybody you know takes these uh problems that i know i've had and puts them to the side because it doesn't help you in your journey when you think bad about yourself you know you got to think positively and you know just think that you can do it you can get there you gotta want to get there you gotta want to not quit because it's so easy to quit um, some of the benefits that I want to say about physical activity is that obviously, um, you know, health and weight loss is number one, but other than that, um, the more I realized, the more I worked out or the more I was able to exercise, um, the more I was able to increase my activity, whether it would be the length of time that I did it, or I would be able to increase resistance or something to that effect, or I was able to do stuff more easily afterwards. Um, so that's another benefit to, um, having physical activity in your life. Um, while you're on your weight loss journey and another thing that I have um, noticed that um, helps when you do physical activity on your weight loss journey is that if you overeat just a little bit and you go oh, I shouldn't have that you know candy bar or something um, it can help compensate for that like you might not gain anything or you might gain less than if you didn't exercise at all so that helps too when you have activity or fit activity into your schedule when you're trying to lose weight um, another thing that helps with when you have activity is that if you do eat healthy and you don't overeat it'll help you lose more weight I think than if you didn't exercise so that helps um, too and then um, another thing is because you're so active you accumulate fit points um, and you can use extra fit points for extra nutrition if you do work out excessively because sometimes you know I tend to overdo it too and then you know my weigh-in doesn't go as well as I should and I think well you know I think I need a little bit extra nutrition because I work out so much so those um, fit points that you earn can go towards extra nutrition if you need that. And lastly, um, it helps aid in, which I've noticed, it helps aid in constipation. It might be TMI, but it's totally true, um, especially if you um, walk. Like I've noticed when I would walk at least for 10 or 15 minutes, it helps keep it helps get my body flowing um, because I know that a lot of people on Weight Watchers said the same thing about you know what I mean not being able to go as easily um, so I would recommend you know if you don't eat or I'm sorry if you don't work out or exercise try to at least walk for at least 10 minutes to 15 minutes a day if you can to try to help aid yourself um, with the constipation that you might be having because um, it really does help it helps you know with me when I have that problem too and then um, I get a question a lot um, about how often should you weigh yourself you know I know people that weigh themselves once a week twice a week every day and after every meal which to me after every meal seems a little bit too daunting for me because 
I know the reasons why they do it because they say, especially if you're on a lifetime, if, if somebody said to me, well, you know, if I know if I gain like only up to maybe three pounds in a day, I can maintain my weight for that week. And then if they go over that um, three pounds, you know, a day, um, if they gain more than three pounds in a day, then then she knows or they know will they'll um, they'll maybe gain a little bit. So I understand why somebody might uh, weigh themselves um, after every meal um, or more than once or twice a day. Um, I get it, but that to me would just give me anxiety. I couldn't like. I couldn't do it. It would be too much for me, and I would just be worrying about my weight all the time, and it would drive me nuts. Um, I, I know people that um, weigh themselves um, once a day, too, every day, and I think that's a little bit exhausting for me because um, when I notice when I weigh myself earlier in the week, and I've been early in the week and in the middle of the week and at the end of the week, because there were times where I did weigh myself like three, four times a week and I would notice my weight would go up and down and up and down. And by the time I got to Monday, it would say something completely different than, you know, what my um, weight would say, let's say on Wednesday and then on Thursday and then on Friday. So, you know, it, that's a little too much for me too. Um, I normally only weigh myself like once or twice a week including my weigh-in day maybe three times maybe but I only weigh myself after um, Friday because my weigh-in day is Monday and I save all my uh, points for the weekend um, because I don't want to start you know my week my week off with the weekend and then run out of points and then I have to you know no points for the rest of the week so that's why I do my weigh-in on Monday um, and I'm also on the blue plan, by the way. So any of the recipes that I post, um, it's always for the blue plan, FYI. Um, but yeah, I weigh myself any day after Friday. So I might weigh myself just maybe Saturday and, you know, Monday or Saturday, Sunday and Monday. Um, so it gives me a better idea of where I'm at when I'm late, when it's later on in the week of how much or how close I really am to my goal, to the weigh-in day weight, or how much or, or how much over or under I will be um, compared to my um, weigh-in day weight. So that's why I do that. And lastly, I want to talk about what I've learned about myself along the way on my journey. Um, I figured out that it was way easier to love my husband more than I love myself. And I kind of knew that going on into this, but on this journey, I have learned to love myself no matter what. Yes, losing the weight is great. It's fabulous. But now I realize how much uh, worth I had even when I was bigger because that girl that was bigger got me here today and she even though I didn't give her enough credit that girl that was bigger had more dedication and willpower than she had in her than I gave her credit for because I didn't think she had it but she did and she got me here. So that's why I appreciate my bigger self now more than ever, even before when I was bigger. So, which leads me to the next one that I learned that I had more willpower and dedication in myself than I, you know, probably previously had thought I didn't have. Um, my willpower and dedication came from me not only wanting to be better for myself, but better for my husband, 
because he deserves that so much. He deserves a better me because, you know, he was always there for me. He loved me for who I was regardless of what I looked like or what I did or anything like that. He loved me more than I love myself and that's why I am so dedicated to this is because I told him I'm not just doing this for me. I'm doing this for you too, for you too because you deserve a better me because I I didn't treat myself as good as he treated me and he deserves that better person not just me physically or appearance wise but he deserves a mentally better stronger me too um, and I've also learned that if you're not willing to change your habits then you're not really to change yourself or your weight um, when I walked into that WW studio for the first time, I was ready. I knew mentally it was going to be a daunting task, but I was ready for anything that my journey put my face in front of. I was ready to do it. So I will advise anyone that if you're having just a slight bit of of apprehension of you know if you can even do this weight loss thing don't do it because you probably gonna sabotage yourself and you're gonna be one of the people that probably start and stop start and stop and you know it's gonna make it harder on you later on um, so I would just say make sure that you're ready to start your journey when you do it I've also learned that I am currently at the weight that I was before I start gaining weight maybe five to seven years ago now that I think about how long I was gaining weight before I was diagnosed with hypothyroidism. I was undiagnosed probably for a good three to five years um, and that was it was so it was so um, you know exasperating for me because I knew something was wrong and you know they couldn't tell me anything which was uh, what made me mad and I knew something was wrong so for me to go undiagnosed for so long it you know it made me unhappy with myself because I knew I was gaining weight um but anyways I I am that weight now that I then I'm what I was uh, before I start gaining weight and I was unhappy with myself before I started gaining the weight at this size. So at that, when I was this size before, I was so unhappy with myself and I thought I was fat then, even though I wasn't, um, you know. So now for me to say I'm the weight that I was before, but I am so much happier now is such an understatement. I value myself more. Um, you know, I have self-confidence, like, you know what I mean? Nobody can mess with this, my head, anything. I am so comfortable with myself now than I ever have ever been in my life. And that's what I appreciate about this journey so much that it made me appreciate and love myself even more. And I want to say that, um, my husband and I went out about a couple weeks ago on a date night to um, B Spot in Westlake and we got burgers and fries and I made room I made po uh, room for them in my points and we were walking back to the car afterwards and you know how you walk down um, past all the uh, restaurants that have the um, open patios and there were a lot of people sitting out there and we were walking by one of them and one of them was playing on the loudspeaker Jimi Hendrix's um, All Along the Watchtower and if anybody that knows me knows that I love me some Jimi Hendrix and something just came over me that day or that night and when I heard that song it just made me so energetic and enthusiastic I was just dancing and singing the song as we walked past all these people sitting out on the patio and I know they probably thought what is wrong with her why is she dancing like that but you know what that's why I'm so comfortable with myself now that I didn't care I didn't care that I was 
probably acting a fool, dancing down the, the sidewalk, walking to the car. I, you know what? I'm so comfortable with myself. I didn't care. I was just so happy. The song made me happy. You know, I was just that comfortable. And now I can finally say thank you, WW, for making me a much stronger and happier person that I've ever been in my life. But my happiness is not about my weight. It's about being comfortable with myself regardless of who I am. And that's, that's why this means so much to me. Which I could have never learned that if I was, was never on this journey. I don't think I would have ever, I'm sorry, I don't think I could have ever have learned that if I wasn't on this journey. So that's why I appreciate WW so much because it's helped me in way more than one way. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, that's what I've learned across, along the way. Um... <laughs> I just want to tell you guys that I appreciate um, all of the, your support and all of you following me on my journey and I hope to do way more of these videos for you and maybe do some more recipes. Um, so yeah, you know, I'm going to end it, I guess. Um, don't forget that I am on Instagram. I changed my name um, from WW Duchess Glitter to Duchess Sarah B. D U C H E S S S A R A H B. So follow me on Instagram and don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, comment in this video, and share this video. And if you have any questions, don't forget to put them in the comments because, you know, I. I uh, would like to know what you guys think or if you have any questions for me. So I hope you guys are staying healthy and staying on your journey. And I wish you guys all the best of luck on your journey to your new, healthier you. Love you guys.